Welcome to Wise Guys. Binomial theorem, expansion by Pascal triangle. When we expand the binomial, so there is a formula to follow. For example, we expand a plus b to the four exponent. There are five terms, one, two, three, four, five. And the first term is a to the four exponent. The last term is b to the four exponent. The coefficient, the first term is one, second term is four, third term is six, fourth term is four, last term is one. So one, four, six, four, one. If you expand the five exponent, the coefficient is one, five, ten, ten, five, one. Those coefficients using the binomial theorem, so they follow the first one and n, n multiply n minus 1 over 2 factorial and n, n minus 1 times n minus 2, 3 factorial and so on. But using Pascal triangle, we don't need to do this way. And we just follow what the Pascal triangle show us. So let me show you. This is the Pascal triangle. So you can make yourself. Very easy. The first one, n equals 0, is 1. n equals 1 exponent is 1 and 1, because a plus b, this one, a plus b, when expand, the coefficient is 1 and 1. When exponent is 2, the, ex uh, the coefficient is 1, 2, 1. Here is 1, 2, 1. And you just write for left side and the right side is one one. And the middle one, this one is one plus one equal two. Right? The previous one plus one equal two. If n equals three, so the first coefficient is one, the second is one plus two is three, and the third one is <coughs> 2 plus 1 is 3, the last one is 1. If n equals 4, so this is 1, the first one is 1, last one is 1, and the second one is 1 plus 3 equal 4, and third one is 3 plus 3 is 6, the fourth one is 3 plus 1 is 4, the last one is 1. If you do n equal 5, here is a 5, is 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And then, exactly the same, the first one is 1, last one is 1, the second, uh, previous, 1 plus 4 equal 5, and the third one is 4 plus 6 is 10, the fourth one is 6 plus 4 is 10, the fifth one is 4 plus 1 equal 5. So 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So that's why you can keep going. Here I made n equal 10. So now I will show you one example is how to expand 2x minus 3 to the 7 exponent. So it means n equals 7. That means we have eight terms. Total, eight terms. So the coefficient, we can see the coefficient here is n equals 7, right? See? When n equals 7, the coefficient is 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. So that's why we because when exponent is 7, there are 8 terms. And for easy to calculate, to organize all the terms, 
I show you very easy way because each term for example here second term is 3 times a squared times b so you have coefficient and a and b in this question you see how to apply those formula to this one this is obviously you can see this one is a this is a a equal 2x b equals negative 3 that's why we write each term we write the three components I write vertically the first term because first time you know this is 2x right this one is 2x and this is negative 3 this is a coefficient so I write this one plus the second three brackets and plus three bracket plus three bracket plus always three components multiply together so one two three four five six seven eight because n equals seven there are eight terms so the coefficient we just follow the Pascal triangle which is one seven here one seven twenty one thirty five so one seven twenty one thirty five thirty five twenty one seven and a one see thirty five thirty five twenty one twenty one seven seven one one so the coefficient this is using Pascal triangle the second component is 2x or oh, this is 2x just write 2x the exponent is from the highest which is 7 decreasing 1 5 4 3 2 1 0 so this is the exponent for the descending order. And the second term, negative 3, is in ascending order, start from 0, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So as a result, you can see even this situation when you have when you have test even at the up to this step you done half of it right so now the next is just a calculation here this one we have seven x to the 7 exponent this way you got x to the 7 exponent and the negative 3 0 is 1 1 is 1 so the first term is x to the 7 exponent the coefficient is 2 to the 7 exponent 2 to the 7 exponent I already calculate is 128 just to use calculate And the second one you can see is x to the 6. x to the 6, right? And the coefficient is 7 times 2 to the 6 exponent, then times negative 3. I can show you using calculate. 
to do this. Say seven times two to the six exponent times three to the one exponent, which is thirteen forty four. But it's negative. Yeah, it is thirteen forty four. The third term, 21, 21 times 2 to the 5 exponent, then times 3 squared, which is 9, and you call 6048, actually is 5 exponent, because the other 3 is 2 exponent, that's a make a positive. And this one we got 35 times 2 to the 4 exponent and the times 3 to the negative 3 to the 3 exponent, which is negative. So we got 3 to the 3 is 27. And we got the 15,120 x to the 4 exponent. So each one we can use calculate to calculate the distance. So the next one is 22,680 x cubed. And this is positive. And the next one is negative again because the exponent is all the number is the fifth. So we got the negative. This is 20,000 14, 41, 412, 20,412 x squared. And this one is positive again, is 10,206, which is x. The last one is just a negative, seven to the, a negative 3 to the 7 exponent, which is negative <coughs> 2187. After that, you just write all the answer here. The answer is just uh, using all this one. The answer is equals to 128 x to the 7 minus 1344 x to the 6 plus 6048 x to the 5 minus 15 120 x to the 4 plus 22, 680, x to the 3 minus 20, 4, 12, x square, and we go to very long, eh? plus 10, 206, x minus 2187. So this is using Pascal triangle to find the coefficient to expand. Thank you. This is presented by Wise Guys.